Welcome back students. Today in the session we are going to see some of the very important numerical problems that are associated with the magnetic fields of electric current. So the first problem goes like what are the magnetic field lines and justify the following statements. So here this being a descriptive problem I will just explain what all the necessary terminologies that you must use to answer these questions. First, what is a magnetic field lines? We know that the magnetic field lines are the imaginary lines that actually starts from north pole and it goes to the south pole and the magnetic field line actually marks the space around the magnet in which the magnetism is happening. Next one, two magnetic field lines will never intersect each other and why? Yes, I made a statement saying that if you draw a tangent to any magnetic field lines and that tangent will represent the direction of the magnetic field. So let us assume that two magnetic field lines are intersecting like this. Let us assume. So if I try to draw a tangent to this point, those two tangents will actually point this way. Those two tangents will actually point in this fashion. So, what it means is at this point the magnetic field direction will be this and this. But that is logically wrong because at a single point your magnetic field cannot have two different directions. So, and that is the reason why we do not have any magnetic field lines intersecting each other. And the second statement says that the magnetic fields are closed curves. Yes, because the magnetic field line starts from the north pole and it goes to the south pole. So, it should obviously be a closed curve. So, these are the answers that you must be answering when if these questions were asked in your examinations. So, now we move to the next one. A compass needle is placed near a current carrying wire. State your observation for the following cases and give the reason for the same in each case. So now compass is nothing but a simple bar magnet and when you take it close to a current carrying wire you can see the ma magnet getting deflected. You can see a magnet getting deflected because we already studied that the straight current carrying wire will actually produce a magnetic field. So, if you take another magnet close to it, that magnetic field from the current carrying wire will actually make this magnet to deflect. Okay. So, now the first subdivision says that the magnitude of the electric field in the wire increases. If the magnitude of the electric current in a wire increases, that in turn increases the magnetic field. So, see. B is directly proportional to I by R in this case. If your I increases, your B will also increase. If the magnetic field increases, then the compass that is kept close to the wire will deflect more. It will deflect more. In the second case, the compass needle is displaced away from the conductor. It is displaced away from the conductor. In that case, your R increases. If your R increases, in that place your magnetic field decreases. So, the magnetic needle or compass placed in that distance will deflect less. So, these are the two observations that are made in case A and case B. In case A, deflection will be more. In case B, the deflection will be less. So, now we move to the next question. Look, state three factors on which the strength of the magnetic field produced by the current carrying solenoid depends. I have already said that solenoid is nothing but a copper wire that is being winded on a soft iron core. So, if this being a case, then the magnetic field inside the solenoid is directly proportional to I, the current 
नेक्स्ट नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स नेक्स्ट द रेडियस ऑफ द कॉइल रेडियस ऑफ द कॉइल देन द मेटीरियल यूज मेटीरियल यूज फॉर यूज एस अ सॉफ्ट आयन कोड ओके दीज आर द फैक्टर्स ऑन विच the magnetic field due to the solenoids depend on okay next b draw a circuit diagram of a solenoid to prepare an electromagnet very simple see this is a solenoid and i'll just put a metal which i am going to electrocute or convert it to an electromagnet inside the solenoid because the magnetic field inside the solenoid is stronger than the magnetic field outside so in case if we introduce a metal inside the solenoid it could get electromagneted very very high inside the solenoid okay it gets electrocuted and it gets converted as an electromagnet when you place a small metal inside a solenoid so this is the case so now we move to the next question here a diagram shows a lengthwise section of a current carrying solenoid here this symbol stands for the current flowing in and this stands for the current flowing out so it is wind in such a way that the current actually flows in this fashion on the solenoid so decide which end of the solenoid a or b will behave like a north pole give the reason for your answer also draw the field lines inside the solenoid see again it's very simple i am going to take a solenoid and we already know our fleming's thumb rule okay it's a fleming's thumb rule where i'll raise my right hand and if the current is going to flow in the circular coil i'll put my hand in such a way that it follows the direction of the current and my thumb represents the direction of the magnetic field in a circular coil in the straight current carrying wire i'll put my thumb in the direction of the current and my hand represents my four finger represents the direction in which my magnetic field flows so this being a solenoid and field is going inside on the i mean the current is going inside on the top and it is coming out from the bottom it is coming out from the bottom so i'll put my hand such a fashion that my four fingers will go inside on the top and it will come out from the bottom so my finger my thumb gets aligned to the left my thumb gets aligned to the left so that is the direction in which my magnetic field comes out so left side behaves like a north pole and right side behaves like a south pole and this is the direction of the magnetic field lines simple as it is that is the direction of the magnetic field lines so this is the way to draw the diagram right so with this we come to the end of this session we will again meet in the next next session with a different set of problems thank you